This video is brought to you by Cloudways. As a developer, you probably love to create new features in your applications to help your users solve their problems. Eventually, you have to get that code to a server so it can be used. If you're like me and you're using a framework, that process can involve multiple steps. You might need to SSH into a server, pull down the latest changes from Git, run all your migration, and then perform framework-specific tasks, like resetting four or five different caches individually. I'm looking at you, Laravel. I once worked for a company where the process to deploy new code took over 20 steps, and we had to create a deployment checklist, because if we missed one of those steps, it could take the whole site down. Heaven help you if you ran into a situation where you needed to roll back all of those changes. Thankfully, you can use the Deployer package to remove this complexity from your life. Deployer 7.0 was just released, so I thought now would be a wonderful time to go over it. Hello developers, and welcome to the PHP Architects channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren, and on this channel we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure you subscribe so you can get our latest videos when they're published. What is Deployer? Deployer is a PHP package that provides automatic server provisioning, zero downtime deployments, rolling back to a previous release, and ready-to-use recipes for the major frameworks and some PHP applications. Now let's talk about what a zero downtime deployment is. As we're deploying our code, it's possible to have some files as part of one deployment and some part of it as a different deployment inside of the same directory. If a user starts out with a file in deployment A and then tries to access a file in deployment B, they can get runtime errors. Deployer prevents this. It does so by creating a new directory for each release, and then it switches to it all at once. It also helps with caching because the new path invalidates the file caches. Deployer also has support for rolling back to a previous release based on the way that it creates these zero downtime deployments. Deployer uses recipes, which is essentially how Deployer knows how to install your application. It comes out of the box with support for multiple existing frameworks, but we can also add our own and then add on custom, custom steps. Installing Deployer. Installing Deployer is done through Composer. Like most Composer packages, it's installing a script to the vendor bin directory called DEP. The instructions on their website actually recommend setting up an alias, so all you have to type in is DEP instead of vendor bin DEP. It depends on how often you run it if you want to do this. I will for this video just to make the command line a little bit shorter. If you're ever lost, you can run DEP list to get a list of all the available commands. Initializing and first deployment. Before this video, I already had a test project with some code in it. I also created a virtual machine using Cloudways, and as part of this setup, I'm noting the path to the project, and I'm also noting the user that we have. I've copied my SSH keys over into this user account. Next, I'm going to run DEP init, and this will actually walk us through the steps in order to set up our deployer project. It's going to ask us a bunch of questions, but don't panic if you don't know what to put. We can always go back and change it later. Now, the first thing it's going to ask us is whether or not we want to use PHP or YAML, as our way of storing our information. I like using PHP just because it's what I'm used to, and if I need to, I can write PHP code in that file. The next thing it's going to do is ask us which type of project we're doing. Now, this is a Laravel project, but we could just as easily pick a Cake PHP project or a Symfony project or any of these other things that exist within here. It's going to ask me what the repository is for my project. It's asking me for the project name, and in this case, it's actually public HTML, which is what I got out of Cloudways. And then it's asking me for my hosts. Now it's telling us that it successfully created a deploy.php. And so if we go into Visual Studio Code, we will see that there's now a deploy.php file that we can look at. And this contains the settings for our, for our setup. It's including this recipe for Laravel, which we'll look at in just a moment. It has our repository and then shared files, directories, writables. And then it also contains like, here's our host. Here is, here's a user, which actually in this case is going to be test user. And then the deployment path. Now this Laravel recipe is stored in vendor deployer deployer recipe Laravel. And when you look in here, you might notice a bunch of files that are, that are common in the Laravel project. Like it's telling us that we have a shared directory of storage, which means that that storage directory is going to be reused for every deployment. And we have a shared file of env, which is also going to be reused. It's wrapping our artisan commands. So if we need to, we can go in and just run our artisan commands um, using the DEP command line tool as opposed to SSHing into the server. Now, at this point, if we were using 
just a raw virtual machine, we would run the DEP provision command, which would go out and install all of the different packages that we need in order to get our project up and running. We're not going to be doing that because Cloudways already does that for us. Our next step is to do our first deployment. And to do that, we're going to do DEP deploy. Now we've successfully de deployed our application. You may notice that there's a warning that our .env file is empty, and we'll go in and fix that real quick. Now that we've done all that, we can successfully see our application. We are all developers and love to write code, but managing the servers that that code runs on can be a time-consuming and error-prone process. Cloudways helps you spend less time managing your servers and more time doing what you really want to do, coding. You only need one account to manage servers on multiple platforms, and for multiple customers. Pick just the server size and location that makes the most sense for you and your customers. You can even estimate your costs for your server before spinning it up. Cloudways offers peace of mind and flexibility so you can focus on growing your business instead of dealing with server management. With Cloudways, you get an optimized stack, managed servers, backups, a staging environment, integrated Git, pre-configured Composer, 24-7 support, and a choice of five different cloud providers, Amazon Web Services, DigitalOcean, Linode, Google Cloud, and Vulture. Get a discount of 20% for three months using the code PHPARCH. Check them out today using our affiliate link at phparch.com slash cloudways. Rolling back our changes. Let's say that we accidentally deployed some code that we didn't want to have out there in the server. It may have had a typo, and it's causing an error or something along that lines. Now, we could just log into the server and try to find the file and fix it, or we could just roll back that release. By using DEP releases, we can see the last set of releases on our server. This shows us the last two commits on our server so that we can make some decisions. Now, all we have to do to roll back from the current release, which is two, to the previous release, which is one, is just run DEP rollback. And just like that, we've rolled back to release version 1. Now if we run DEP releases again, we can see that release 2 has been marked as bad, and the release 1 is back as the current. Recipes. Deployer uses recipes to determine the structure for how we deploy our application. We can use DEP tree deploy to see the specific step. Again, because this is a Laravel project, there are a bunch of artisan commands within our tree. Advanced usage. Now, this is just a fraction of the features that Deployer provides. My favorite part is that we can add custom tasks to our recipe. For example, we might want to send a Slack notification to our team informing them that, our, that the code has been deployed. What you need to know. Deployer helps us deploy our code from our local environment to the server. It uses recipes to create a deployment checklist and allows us to easily revert our changes. We can also add custom tasks to suit our needs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Are there topics you would like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments below or send me a message on Twitter at Scott Keck Warren. We love to hear how we can help you and it always brightens my day when I hear from a fan. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep watching, keep coding, and keep reading.